am Abdul Hamid, Abdul Hamid Mohammadi, yeah. and uh, a university student of Bamiyan University. Yeah. And um, well, my uh, well, I can define Bamiyan is a land of wonder, a land of peace, a la and a land of most of interesting things. Uh, for me, Bamiyan is a very holy place. Probably one of the very few tourist destinations in all of Afghanistan. Yeah. And it's, it's very peaceful, it's friendly, it's safe, it's, it's a natural wonder. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen anything like this anywhere in the world. Relevant to your question, I would like to say that Bamiyan is the glory of Afghanistan. Yeah. It's peace, it is beauties, natural beauties, it is rich cultural heritage, it's education and it is civilian activities. They are making Bamiyan as a safe haven for life. That's why I'm saying that this is the glory of Afghanistan. Bamiyan today is uh, one of the uh, Afghanistan highlight province and the most of the young generation right now they are getting for education and, uh, and they're, they're peaceful but um, uh, the youth generation they want to participate in uh, civil activities but um, also we are eager to uh, uh, the youth generation moving to the future and as you know, uh, in Bamiyan province, we have eight places as a World Heritage Site uh, that has been inscribed in 2003 uh, after the demolition of the Taliban. And geographically, it is locked by mountains. And uh, uh, this makes Bamiyan really safe and really secure for, for, for the people. From the other side, the people of Bamiyan, they are really peaceful people and they are not thinking about the war and about the distraction. They are always thinking about the promotion, about the education, about cultural activities and about civilian activities. Um, we haven't actually stayed in Bamiyan city, we're just staying just a little bit out, but I love it. It looks like an old western town you see in movies with the verandas, very, very different from other places, well, this one from Kabul, which is yeah. the only place we have been. Though we have a really good sec security and safety in Bamiyan, but the development pro uh, process has not taken place very fast in Bamiyan. Because Bamiyan has no access to the raw material, Bamiyan has no access to the scale human resource, Bamiyan doesn't have uh, the potential of uh, providing the factories and other economic development. And from this, these challenges makes Bamiyan a little uh, underdeveloped. Uh, although the people are really uh, enthusiastic of uh, having promotion and getting developed, but still uh, there is no a considerable uh, uh, promotion and development taking place in Bamiyan yet. Well, my well, my message for the for the world is uh, that for whoever who um, uh, who will be watching my video is that uh, let's let's try to be peaceful let's let's try to be good and let's try our best and leave the rest to our god all the afghanistan uh, afghan people they, they they require the peace security and stability yeah. what we want is from the world is the, our stability and peacefulness and what we want is the education, what we want is the economic development and economic prosperity and social prosperity of Afghanistan. What we need is the support of uh, uh, human uh, beings, the support of uh, national, uh, international communities, the support of uh, all international agencies that they are working in Afghanistan or they are somehow involved in Afghanistan what we want them to support the peace and the stability in Afghanistan.